There's three letters that describe a phenomenon that's taking over Wall Street, if not many investors around the globe. It's called ESG, Environmental, Social, and Governance. Why don't you explain to viewers what it is and why it's so hot? So it's become front and center in almost every client conversation that we're having around the firm. That's true in our securities division. It's true in our investment banking division. It's clear that clients care. They want education and they want to understand how they can prepare themselves for what could be a pretty substantial wave of capital reallocation in the coming years. Now, this capital is going to reallocate theoretically uh, to companies that are more environmentally, socially, and of course, with regard to governance, uh, doing the right thing, being politically correct, kind of taking Earth Day to the next level. My question is, as an investor, is there a standardization so I can look at various companies and all the same guidelines used to give them a rating of ESG? So this is part of the problem that exists in the market today, is that there is no broad framework by which companies can be compared on an apples to apples basis. There's a couple of institutions that are working to change this. There's the Sustainability Accounting Standards Board, or SASB, and then there's the TCFD, uh, which is the Climate Related Financial Disclosure Task Force. I think once we have that, then there's going to be a much more level playing field to compare companies, and investors will be able to do work in a standardized platform to be able to understand who's doing the right thing and who may not be up to task. You know, back in the early 80s, Johnny, when I was more into the business than I am discussing the business on TV and media, uh, derivatives were the hot commodity in the early 80s. And we all learned that it was an interesting experiment, but many took it too, too far. And ultimately, maybe some of those derivatives led to the credit crisis. When it comes to ESG, certain assumptions, like battery cars are better, but are battery cars better? What do we do with the batteries? I guess what I'm saying is we, we don't know how this will turn out, but it may affect the alpha of many people's investments. 100%. But what you have to bear in mind, Rick, is that the amount of money that is moving into this space, first of all, ESG AUM is growing at a double digit pace annually. The UN's chartered principles for responsible investment that now stands with close to 2,500 signatories, at least that was at the end of 2019, and $86 trillion of assets under management, 50% of which have to be in an ESG mandate by 2021. The amount of money that's going into this space is so substantial that it's going to drive real cost of capital benefits for companies that are scoring well under the ESG framework, and it's going to create cost of capital punishments for those that are scoring less well. And that's the future over the course of the next three to five years. Well, you brought up the UN. Prepare it, themselves it, for now. You know, Johnny, if I recall, this is an idea that was originally adopted by former uh, uh, UN uh, Secretary General Kofi Annan, that's I don't right. know, early 2004. And I guess my final question is we're out of time. In the final analysis, uh, are investors going to ultimately end up buying into more of a religion with regard to the environment? Or will there be an ongoing change as new information changes the rules of social governance? Well, we need better data and we need real data on what matters the most. That's going to enable investors to make their decision and drive this cost of capital differential. It's coming, Rick, and it's coming in a really big way, and companies Excellent. are there well, Johnny, already we'll to be see able to prepare it's, themselves. We'll see whether it's coming or not, but it certainly has its heart in the right place. But I look at Germany, and their heart's in the right place, and their electricity costs are triple what a corporation in the U.S. is are.